Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Alna Factory. So here we are today at episode 115. And uh, yeah, so last episode I believe we was working on a few, well, not many things, but a few things. Um, I was showing off the reactor and how I put the Maricim in there, which you can see it's now gone at this point. Um, and then I was doing something with tier eight macro miners. Now, in the time that I had done all this, and then, and uh, in the time that I last recorded, now I had done a few things. I had allowed all of the neutronium to fuse up, as well as I requested the tier eight and tier seven micro miners on the side. So those are ready to be sent off. That being said, I also have the neutronium here. And I believe I have more than enough ingots. There's the quest. I'll put that in there. Hell yeah. Okay, so now with this in mind, we're gonna go and put these into our system again. Well, we had them in there originally, but <clears throat> what I need to do is I need to set up some patterns for the neutronium to be processed, right? We're going to need plates. Now, we can just do the compactor recipe, and that would be simple. Um, here, I'm just thinking about something. Isn't there a heavy... Oh, right, here we go. Oh, okay, yeah, so it's two neutronium plates for the heavy plating. That's not new. Uh, we are going to need to get Einsteinium, though, to make that, which is used for the tier 10. But uh, we'll get there. Okay, so let me just go and put this plate away. Okay. So let's, uh, let's see. So we got that. We have the tier eight, so let me just grab a single tier eight. There we go. Complete. Now that opens up the way for the chaos shard. And if I'm not mistaken, we're gonna need 88 of these. So we need at least 10 of these injectors. So that's gonna be 40. Right, yeah, 40 shards. And the other 44 are going to be used for the chaotic cores. So let's see, that's used for... the solars. So wait. Okay, so that's four for a core. And then... That's four uh, shards for two chaotic solars. So... Basically, four shards for two neutroniums, but an extra four. So, oh, man, the math on that is crazy. In the end, though, we need... Oh, here we go. So we need two. Okay, so that's about six or so. And then here... Not that. Oops. Uh... Your turn. So the reactor core. Okay, so there's eight right there. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I, I have to like go through the whole tree there and figure out. Or oh, actually, I have a calculator right here. Tier ten. So the tier ten. Oops. Tier ten is. 44 shards. Okay, so that makes sense. As far as I know, this accounts for everything with tier 10 here. 
in a tier 8. I don't think there's a tier 9 in here. But the tier 9 only has... Wait, is the tier 10 accounting for the tier 9? Uh, wait, 48, so I need 40, I need eight, eight, oh, 88, yeah, 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 okay, that is, that, that is correct, so the 48, for some reason I thought it was 84, not 88, uh, okay, so I think we're good then, all right, so we need that heart, and we need all this stuff here, well, these are all the steps, we need the tier 10, we need... You know, all this, that, uh... Oh, because I don't have the new turn in my inventory, yeah. Okay, so I'm getting distracted. I just want to uh, check one thing here. Yeah, okay, so the new turn has gone. But now we need the plates. The plate, though, they are not that terrible. It's going to be this that's going to be terrible. Ah, okay. So, I guess we can send off, well. Okay, we're going to need this anyway to get to this. So, for 1k S shard, I'm going to need a guardian data, right? So, I need to send off a tier 7. And then, I need four of the delicate crystals and that. Okay. I have an idea for what I want to... Well... I'm thinking here. Um, what's in my pattern here? Okay, so I have the Guardian data quest. And I have that too. Okay, so... Those are in there. Okay, so then I'll just do a shard request. So that looks like it has that. It has that. So it just has to make the other small items there. So that... Okay, that's fine. And there we go. It's running. Now, eventually, I'll get the other two or other three microverse projectors set up. Um, we don't have a big need for all of them right now. Uh, once we get the tank and once we're working on the other creative items, then that will be more of a thing. Additionally, uh, once we get creative tank, we'll be able to essentially have infinite power given that we're going to be making nickel plasma and we're going to be making more turbines and remember normally well this kind of changes things normally a mark three reactor can power 53 turbines but if we have creative fluid you won't have to worry about that too much either way i made the mark three I don't think we're that far off from a tier 10. However, we still do need the Einsteinium. Right? So we need... Oh, that's not bad at all, actually. We have this. But it's five seconds. Okay. Um, I wonder if this tells me how much Einsteinium I need. It looks like I need six buckets worth. Okay. So let me... Pull up an Excel sheet here. Stupid. Okay. So 648, right? And Einsteinium, I'm going to need... Okay, so it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So I need six buckets each of Berkelium and Californium. So that's going to be... Like six buckets. Let's see. Um, well, technically, this doesn't even need to be in a Mark III. Okay. Let's just go and get some Californium and Berkelium set up. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. So, Californium... These melt down into 144 millibuckets. Okay. So then 
divided by 144. Okay, so I'm going to need like 40. I'll just take a whole stack of each because why not? Okay. So you have Californium and Berkelium. I'm going to get some tanks. Okay. We're going to come over here. And we'll turn that off just in case. Okay, so I'm going to be extracting all of this. And I'll come back. Well, actually, I'm going to, I'm going to extract all of this. Send it into my Mark III reactor. Get the Einsteinium. That way we can get the blast furnace prepared. Um, uh, heavy newt. Right, so we need... We're going to need a 9600K coil, and we're going to need UV hatches. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the 9600K is going to be fusion. Yeah, fusion coil. Okay, so let's see here. Fusion. We'll get 16 of those crafted up. Uh, CEF, we need one of the UV variety. And we are going to need hatch. Two of those. All right. So here's the plan. I'm going to go AFK. I'm going to get all the fluid melted down. I'm going to plop it into the reactor. Get a fluid cell uh, formatted for it, of course. And then go and set up the EBF. And I will be back. Okay? See you all shortly. Hey, everybody. All right, welcome back. Uh, so I did a little extra thing here. I made, well, I made two furnaces. Uh, this one is going to be our fur our blast furnace. That's going to handle um, the heavy neutronium. This one over here is going to be handling a different plating. Now, uh, let's see if I can pull it up. Here we go. So the quantum flux eternium heavy plating. What a mouthful. That is going to need krypton gas. It's also going to need 9,000K, but I'm using the uh, fusion coils for this. Okay, so it's going to be about 10 seconds per plating here. And I really don't think it's going to be beneficial to try and overclock this because the only thing that's really above UV is max, and I'm not positive we'll be able to even get max. Max is like... Um, let's see. Let's see. Energy input... Max is basically 2 billion, right? And that's 500,000. So that's 2147483647 divided by 524288. I did that wrong. Times 54288. Okay. Divided by 524288. That's a factor of 4k wait hold on or two eight eight times five two four two eight eight oops hold on five two four two eight eight times sixteen times two I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, so we need to get that, although I think we already have this, so that's... Actually, everything here is doable right now. So we have the Krypton inside. So let's go over to the terminal. I, I was trying to remember what I read somewhere in the Discord about um, how to get to max voltage, but it's ridiculously hard. Um, okay. All right, so... Qu oops. Quantum. Okay. We put that in the quant quantum. What did I call it? Did I, did I even connect it? Oh, let me go make sure I can connect connected this. Oh, I did. I called it. Oh, Q flux. Okay. So there's the plating. Let's just request up. Yeah, let's request up one of those. Okay. That's going to take some time, I think, to make the, uh, yeah, the plates. 
All right, so that is cooking up. Now, probably post-tank, things will be a lot easier, and so my automation will be changed around. In fact, I'll probably be deleting a lot of my machines. I say delete, you know, conservatively, but I mean, like, rem removing them and setting up systems that will basically produce for me metals, plates, wires, whatever. So there is our doodad there. Oops, wrong button. Wrong uh, key. P. There we go. All right. So that quest is done. Oh, and I did request that shard, didn't I? So let me just grab that real quick. Shard? Not that shard. Okay. Put that away. So, claim. That leaves us with the Draconic Reactor Core, which we need to make this if we're going to make the, um, the Tier 9. Now, the Stabilized Einsteinium, we can either make it or we can send a mission for it. And I think that's going to be easier, better. Did I? Oh, I did. Hey, look at that. I guess I already sent some off. Okay. So then I think we can go and get the DE infusion set up for that recipe. Uh, that does remind me. Once I get the chaotic injectors, I'm going to have to, like, make a manual setup somewhere over here or something. And uh, use that for the chaotic recipes until I can, you know, get chaotic everything else. But I don't think that will be a big issue. I think it's only for a few things that I really need chaotic for. Right, okay, so let's get over here then. So, boom. Boom. Load. Right, so, um, reactor core. Okay, so, let's go ahead and name this. Wait, am I even doing that anymore? No, I am, yeah. Wait, what? Wait, what? I already have that patterned? Draconic energy. Oh, no, no, no. That's a different thing. Okay, okay, okay. The reactor core. Right. So, draconic reactor core. Right, okay. So, that's... And... So, that has to be the middle. That's to be the first item there. Save, load. Damn it. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so I need to grab a Conflux and Einsteinium. Conflux. Oh, it's making the Conflux right now. Uh, okay. Come back here. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Put that there and put that there. And save a couple times. Processing advanced dislocator. Wait, what? I'm confused why that was never an issue before. Okay, well, that's fixed. Okay, so put that back. And we'll put that back. So, Draconic Reactor Core. There's our package. We're missing something. Excuse me? Did I miss something? What's going on now? What? Huh? Is it because I don't I don't have Wait. Oh. 
Okay. Let me go ahead and fix this. Well, let me just do this. I'm just going to take that back. I'm going to put this back. Load. Let's see. That one. Okay, well, I can't undo that now. I yeah, okay. So I'll be right back. I'm going to fix this recipe and yeah, back in a bit. Okay, sorry about that. I'm back. Yeah, so I guess there was just an issue, of course, with me changing the recipe. So it didn't recognize it. All right, so I need to put a new interface on here. So I need to call this Draconic Setup. Okay. Um, I guess I'll mm, put it here. Oh, wait, I didn't need to name it first. Okay, so Draconic Setup. Oh, okay. Let me get some conduit here. Conduit. Okay. Back up we go. Cover up the mess. All right. So, reactor core. Okay. So, that's good to go. That will craft up. How much is that? Ooh, 26 billion RF. No. Wait, what? Million, oh, trillion RF. Hmm. Now I'm conf Okay, let me. Uh, I need to check something because I feel like I'm going crazy. This orb here. Million, billion, trillion. Qu Am I really that stupid? Originally, I said this was quadrillion. Then I came back and said it was trillion. No, it's quadrillion. What is going on with me, man? I swear. My brain is not functioning sometimes. Million. Billion. No, wait. Million? Billion? Tri wait, what? No, that is trillion. Hundred thousand. Hundred thousand million billion trillion. Okay. Three sets of zeros. That's uh, twenty. Uh, it is billion. Oh my god. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Okay. That's done, though. Okay, so. Now in here, oh, in here. Oh, I should have just uh, dragged it in like last time. So that should be able to connect in there. Did I block mode the other one? No, okay. I don't want to block mode. So now if I wanted, say, two of these, it would be able to craft it. It would have to go an extra step and do some other stuff there, but no problem whatsoever. Okay, so a tier nine miner is this boy right here. We also are going to need the reactor stabilizer. And that's going to be some more infusion crafting here. Mm. I think those two are done. We just need to get this other stuff handled. Now, this is using Scenarium, which we're not uh, strangers to, and the Reinforced Iridium Alloy. So I think then we should be able to go back up to our... up here, our thing up here. Yeah, yep, I'm good at words. And let's get some uh, recipes clocked in then. So the Reactor Stabilizer is going to be... Nuclear craft plating with awakened items there. The... Oh, here we go. I need to get these other things here. So, awakened draconium plates, draconium plates, and draconium gears. That's going to be another thing we're going to need. That is going to be matrix draconium. 
this, I think this, I think we need this, right? Yeah. So this, a combination of the two rotors with more draconium or awakened draconium that is. And I think this is next. Yep. And that is the infusion, but this we need to get scenarium plate. I'm pretty sure. Okay. So let's go to the wall. Put these in here one by one. So if I wanted two of these, all I'm missing for this would be awakened gear and elite plating. Huh. I thought we got that. Okay, so how bad is that going to be? Oh, rhodochrosite, right. Okay, so we need to get some redstone processing for this. Uh, I don't think we have DU plating, do we? No. Okay, so DU plating is going to be a recipe for the alloy smelter PR, uh, PA. It's advanced plating and stabilized uranium. I'm pretty sure we have all this. Stabilize, yeah, okay. So, PA alloy, we're up on time. Okay, we got some more time left. So that will go in here. And that will go here. Right? Elite plating. Yeah, okay, so now the crushed rhodochrosite, we're gonna need, oh, sulfuric acid, is that it? That it? It's not a problem. Um, okay, so pyrolusite or redstone. Pyrolusite. Honestly, I think that would be the better option. Pyrolusite. I mean, we can just buy a bunch of this shit. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but first, let me make sure that I don't have pyrolusite in my item sink, although I really doubt I would. Yeah, okay, cool. So the pyrolusite, we're going to have to drop into a chemical reactor with sulfuric acid. We're going to get solid manganese. So I might just pipe it into a solidifier and pipe it back into our system. Because I know we're going to probably need that for uh, later on. Okay. So let me get a reactor. Actually... Can I get a LUV solidifier? There it is. Because LUV would be a lot better, obviously, than IV. Okay. And reactor. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, I know I have an unutilized um, LUV tower. I'm going to go and set this up so that it's going to pipe in the pyrolusite a bunch of, I'll buy a bunch of pyrolusite and get more omni pennies later so that we can get the crushed rhodochrosite which we need for the plating which we need for the reactor which we need for the tier 9 ship quite a chain of events there wouldn't you say the pump let's get one crafted up and then request 10 more so there's that. So we need a face. I think we only need, no, I don't think we need that much actually. Uh, no, I need a uh, mold. And we're going to go for a plate. Okay. Um, I guess we need a robot. No, we don't need a robot arm. Right? Uh, Uh, let's see, so we can just use the open side of the machine to pipe it in, but we do need a pump, right? And then we need an item out. Okay, so we do need a robot arm then. All right. So I think it's, oh, it's over here. Okay. So let's see, let's pump this in like, boom. Wait, that's the solidifier shit. Okay, reactor. There we go. 
So we need the pump to go here. Import. Pyrolucite. Oh. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Sulfuric acid. My brain. Sulfuric acid. Nope. Sulfuric acid. If I put the cable away again. Okay, let's see here. Pump it like that. Okay, that's going in. I guess I'll do the robot arm on the bottom here. Not be the import. And we need the pyrolucite back. Honestly, I could probably use redstone. I think. Rhodochrosite. So if I did redstone, that would be easier for having molten redstone. But manganese is also good to have. Never mind, we got a shit ton of that. Uh, you know what? Let's just change this to redstone. Because we got a butt ton of manganese. Where's the ore? And it's not that much different recipe wise. Okay. Uh, let me. Oh, shoot. We actually are running out of time here. So what I'm going to do between this episode and next is I'm going to get this all hooked up and we'll come back and we'll go from there. All right. See you all next time. Ta-ta for now.